Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, before I turn it over to Kwesi, I just wanted to start uh, out today, and, and uh, you know, it's been a tough couple days uh, from a standpoint of uh, the Zimmer family, and, and just on behalf of the organization, we really want to just take the second here um, to make sure we start out and offer our condolences to the family. Um, I know there's so many folks in our building uh, that, that had a relationship with Adam and, and how respected and, and well-liked he was in our building. It's been, like I said, a tough couple days. So we just want to offer our condolences to the family um, and just let, uh, let them know that they're on our hearts and on our minds and, and uh, we're thinking about them. So with that, I will turn it over to Kwesi. Yeah, um, good afternoon. That's a tough transition. Uh, as Kevin said, we're, we're all heartfelt, uh, just trying to be respectful of the process uh, with the Zimmer family. Uh, but I want to take a couple of minutes today just to talk about the trade and the process that resulted um, in a player like TJ who we're very excited about. Um, as I said before when I first got here, I think the thing you want to do best as a building is really understand what you have in your building. Um, and to do that, you need to have an objective process, great communication between yourself, the coaching staff, and your personnel department. Um, and I think we've done that. So first and foremost, I want to say that we're excited about the team we have here. Uh, we've got a lot of great players that uh, are a great culture, great, really competitive, show up down in and down out. Uh, we've got a lot of young players that are getting better on these fields behind us. As somebody pulls the bag out right behind me right now, uh, ready, ready to answer the call when, they're, uh, when they're, their number is called. And we're excited about them. Uh, and really, a lot of that's just about the cohesion that I have with Kevin um, and his staff and just staying in great communication and understanding what we need. Uh, our personnel department um, is aggressive. They're always looking for different op opportunities, ways to upgrade the team. But you always want to be careful. Um, I think a team is a very delicate chemistry, and you want to make sure that you're not over-tweaking or overdoing anything. Uh, we, we're excited about what we have and the group that we have. So uh, we try and be really uh, judicious with our opportunities, and this just happened to be one of them. Uh, TJ is a great fit. Uh, he's an incredible player in both phases of the game. Uh, he's competitive. He fits into the, our, our culture. Um, he also gives us a lot of great roster flexibility with his ability to do things in the run and pass game. Uh, so I, th I think we were just excited about the opportunity. I think it embodies a lot of the themes that we've talked about living in today and tomorrow and all those different things. Um, and, and before I you know, take questions, I want to make sure that it's clear that we're excited about Irv. Irv uh, has been really good for us. He was really starting to come on these last couple games. Kevin and I you know, were talking about some of the routes he was running, some of the best he's run all season. So we're really going to have him uh, embrace his rehab process, and we're excited to have him back when it's time. Well, with that, I'll open up to questions. So how much of this was to have a replacement for Irv knowing he's going to miss some time, and how much of this is independent of his injury? Yeah, a lot of that, you know, we didn't know the extent of Irv's injury when it happened, obviously. And so, you know, obviously we're looking at these different opportunities as they come. And, you know, a lot of t sometimes the, the factors that show up maybe lean you a certain way or not. But, you know, there was no, no certain answer one side or the other. We're just considering a lot of different things. As, on it already, I, I don't want to say down the road, just considering it like we do consider a lot of different things. Um, and then obviously that when you change with the information that you're given when it changes. I see with the, the having TJ under contract, having that fifth year option for next year, you talk about today and tomorrow. How attractive was that piece of it as you considered the trade? Certainly a component of it. Um, again, we're always trying to solve this riddle that we have. We're trying to fill the best team with the constraints, with the salary cap being one of them. Uh, we like the, the, the value of the contract. We also like the player. I want to make sure that that's clear. We like the player, the skill set, what he provides this offense, how he allows us to play, and hopefully on the field this year and next. And then also, you know, the fit in the, within the locker room, that, that component of it is very important. We, we do a lot of digging into his college background. We, we talk a lot of people in Detroit, and they say nothing but great things about the player and how it'll fit into here. With, with the salary cap to fit him in, did you need to do anything else to be able to get him in and then have enough money to do other business? Yeah, nothing specific for this particular move. We might do moves in the future. Just you want to make sure you have room as injuries start to happen in the NFL season, but nothing specific to this move. How much did you look at your record, what's happening around the league, and debating whether you kind of sit still or go forward and, and maybe try to improve this roster? Sure, yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's every factor. It's where are you now? You're trying to. Pro you're always trying to project, project, project. Where are you? Where are your opponents? You look at the league. I think it, it's, you know, you've seen, I think it was the most trades at the trade deadline. This is more, it's an aggressive mindset. I think it's kind of maybe approaching a more of a baseball uh, mindset. And so we've got to be always looking constantly uh, to try and upgrade our roster, but also be be aware of what our roster is right now. And we, again, we like our roster. This is no reflection of a weakness or anything like that. It's just uh, we thought it was a, a great opportunity to improve the roster within our time horizon, and so we took that opportunity. Do you 
more of a see you want to talk about your uh, you know partnership with Kevin what did you hear from him that maybe influenced the move you know it's funny we had a uh, we've been we, we have constant process so we're talking about in season but we're also talking about the draft and different things and we've had some different discussions about different position groups and tight end something that honestly he's taught me a lot about uh, in the past you know couple of months or so and so I actually went back and had done a study uh, on different tight ends and because you know, when you try and evaluate that position, sometimes you'll get enamored by kind of how receivers win and things like that. And that's just a different position. And so kind of in those discussions, I had actually done TJ, you know, more recently and updated those things. And coincidentally, he ended up here. But um, I think that's, you know, just a credit to him and also our, our relationship and how he's taught me and how I, I tr continue to try and grow and evolve in this role. Do you think the, the resources to be able to do those kinds of evaluations outside your building plus um, maybe get you guys coming in up to speed quicker yep. is, is that maybe part of the factor of so much activity yeah it's both I would say it's you know first and foremost I have a, a really great uh, personnel department um, RG likes to use a term called the sickness um, and it's a term where these guys wake up every day trying to find opportunities on turn look under every stone trying to find great players so if you've seen the roster moves we've done we tried to do that and I think it starts with a player personnel department that is hungry uh, to do those things and it's my job, it's Kevin's job to kind of be the gatekeeper and understand that there's a delicate balance to this team. You don't always want to be tweaking. There's humans uh, involved, and we're, we're trying to make sure we're in the right path. So that's a big part of it. And then to your point, yeah, the coaching staff does a great job getting people involved. Uh, you know, this started with the interview with Kevin, really talking about player development and, and different ways that we, we, we try and win on the margins and prove and, and, and really get players up to speed quickly. A lot of things they do with their practice structure and different things like that. Uh, so I have confidence in him and it's great, you know, knowing the head coach is the play caller. And so we, we, we kind of talk through those ideas and I'm confident that he'll be able to maximize the value for that reason. Well, so you got the last one. He's a former high draft pick. He's been highly productive. He's in his prime, and you got him really by moving back a little bit in two drafts. Uh, are you surprised you were able to get that value? Uh, no, I, you know I think ultimately when you do these trades, two two sides have do two different components. Uh, you know I'm not going to speak for Brad, but Brad has a reason why he wanted to trade him, and I had a reason for mine. And a lot of times, you know I'm from an economics background. You talk about you meet in the middle. A lot of times you just there's a value for the player that you have, and there's a black fire with the player that the person is trying to re remove the player, and you just kind of find a, a meet in the middle. I have different challenges that I, I face, and, and this organization faces in the future uh, with you know contracts and positions and different things in the draft so you try and cultivate and create a trade that really works for your needs and hopefully that works for their needs and this is one of those times where that came to fruition thanks everybody thank you